I always grew up feeling that this planet is magnificent. What right does one species have to destroy it? Nothing I can do is as beautiful as nature. I'm being inspired by that beauty. We live in a city and we don't have that much of a connection. We look at the park trees, but we walk right by them. Oh yeah, it's park. But here are these strange beings. Sadly, salt water has been coming in and beginning to kill off all these incredible Atlantic coast cedars. I mean, these are 80-year-old trees. They're personalities. Each one is like, a, I call them the gentle giants. And maybe if I can get you to be a little more curious, then you're gonna start reading about solutions. It's getting biblical, whether it's forest fires in the West, forest fires in Greece, horrible flooding throughout Europe. Now is the time not to get despondent. Now is the time to roll up our sleeves and say, we can do a lot. We have to fight for this one. This is our kids' future. This is our future. My name is Maya Lin. I'm an artist, designer, and environmentalist. My whole world has always been a tension between opposites. East and West, science, art, I feel I exist on the boundaries, somewhere between places. Anywhere I go, I can make my own little world. I can be intensely drawn to the facts. And then you have to put it all away and find the poetry. She's a truly important visual thinker. I don't think you can separate it from her person. And uh, it's gentle, it's direct, it's powerful. I don't think anybody else is in that realm. My aesthetic process, I see it as a tripod. One leg is the art, one leg is the architecture, and one leg are the memorials. Because if I take one leg away, I'll fall over it. I use history, I use stories, I use facts, I use science. I'm gonna present you with what the story is, but I'm not going to draw the conclusion for you. She looks for an essence, a social essence, and uses nature to express that essence. It's very personal. Can I arrest your assumption of what you're looking at for a minute, so all of a sudden you experience it and you actually relate to it? When I was growing up, my parents had both fled China and they never talked about their past. I have no photographs of my father's mother. The past was all taken. I actually have this need to try to remember and present these histories extremely accurately and in a way unbiasedly. Let's just present the facts. If you can stop people from remembering. It's a pretty scary thing because you can actually try to pretend the past doesn't matter. We have to always face the truth. We have to face the truth of our pasts. Then it can teach us a new future. It can guide us to a better future. As an artist, I know that I will dedicate the rest of my life to the one cause that when I was a child I cared so deeply about, which is the environment. It'll keep iterating itself in different ways. I'm not trying to conquer the land. I'm mapping the earth. I'm showcasing science and technology. I am going to try to point out things in the land that you may not be noticing. I would hope that my work helps by accurately remembering history at times or getting you to look at the land in a new light. Maybe I can get you to slow down 
and take a moment and look at how absolutely beautiful the natural world is.